welcome to Anagadmi Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and in today's video I will tell you a proper strategy to revise biology in last 20 days and trust me students by following the strategy you can revise NCRT 3 to 4 times before your exam. So exam is there on 5th of May and I'm, I believe that you people are having mixed emotions right you are anxious you are happy also you are excited also you you are you're scared also that what's going to happen I know a lot of thoughts are there in your mind right now and you must be baffled but at this point of time you have to gather all your stress why because this is the time when you have to train your brain to deal that pressure then only you will be able to score very good marks in your need examination and this is what I want for my students right so time to time we will keep guiding you we will keep telling you that what to follow what not to follow right and how to how to take care of your mental health because you know that that is something very 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 important for the students right now okay so I am sharing this plan with you why because uh, I have received many messages on telegram where students are saying ki ma'am we don't know what to follow sometimes we open one book the uh, one chapter then we jump to another then we jump to another so what should we do so I am going to provide you a realistic plan so see students I am giving you this plan from 14th of April to 3rd of May so if it is 14th of April to 3rd of May so so obviously you have 20 days okay so if in your mock test you people are scoring 250 to 270 marks then obviously 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 by following the strategy people you will get 330 plus marks in your in your uh, final paper right 330 plus marks so now how many chapters do we have in total we have 32 chapters 19 chapters are from class 11 and 13 chapters are from class 12 so out of all these chapters you need to decide your strong chapters first strong chapters I mean in which you are scoring good marks in your mock test in which you are making less mistakes in your mock test plus you have revised them multiple times right you have revised them from NCRT multiple times this is what you have to do this is here I mentioned few chapters okay right uh, so randomly I mentioned few chapters you can write down your strong chapters here so obviously if they are your strong chapters for their revision you are going to take comparatively less time now the next point is okay ma'am we'll do it now tell me tell us what to follow right I know you some of you will be like Ki, we should read only NCRT yeah some of you are like Ki, we should uh, practice previous year questions only or some are like Ki, do we go for uh, should we go for the mind maps for the notes or for the lectures for detailed lectures what to do now let me tell you students what you have to do obviously NCRT is something which we cannot leave okay but right now if you will think that you will read each and every line of NCRT of all the chapters it is a time taking process we have to read the NCRT but now we have to do the smart work as well so the students who are who who just started their preparation and they are thinking right who just started their preparation and they are thinking ki yaar ma'am we just started today so should we follow that right of course not if you know something from your syllabus if you have completed something then this video is for you if you are distracted you were not able to focus before then definitely this video is for you but if you are thinking no ma'am today I have decided that I will be preparing for the NEET examination then definitely this video is not for you do not waste your time so NCRT is something which we cannot leave when it comes to NCRT and when it comes to the quick revision do not miss the summary sometimes the summary of the chapter will help focus on the diagram focus on the on the their description also right this is something that we have to do do not miss the bold letters right do not miss the bold letters do not miss the bold words rather right you should know their meaning and as I always said that always underline the PYQs so when you open up any chapter what you have to do just start with the summary read it right it will hardly take your two to three minutes then bache focus on the diagrams you will revise your concept then bache whatever words are written in bold obviously you should know their meaning and of course I believe that you have underlined the highlighted lines of PYQ this is what you have to do first of all when it comes to the revision of NCRT so NCRT is something which we are not allowed to miss when it comes to the PYQ practice at least for 30 minutes you have to practice the PYQs okay when it comes to the mind maps yes mind maps are important for the revision but if you think that you should only follow the mind maps right like there are notes available there are books available teachers are taking lectures on mind map only mind maps are not going to help if you will revise only from mind maps you can get 270 to 290 marks so NCRT PYQs we have to include 
but we cannot just only we cannot just rely on the mind maps only so yes when it comes to your notes if they are your notes if they are your short notes you can follow that no, uh, uh, short notes for your quick revision and when it comes to the lecture let me tell you bachche if you have the list of that strong chapters let's say if the most important chapters are missing there then you can go for the then you can obviously go for the lectures but if you are thinking that you will go for such one shots which where teacher teachers are completing the lecture in 2 hours or in 3 hours then trust me in the paper you might not be able to solve the questions maybe you will solve one question or two questions from that chapter but not four to five questions so if there is any strong chapter which is still not in your list of that uh, which which is which is still not uh, which is a very uh, scoring chapter which is not the part of your strong chapter list then obviously you should go for the detailed one shots okay definitely you should go for the detailed one shots which are for four to five hours okay that time you can devote for your particular chapter if it is very scoring one thing now why i was telling you about that list ki strong chapters not so strong chapters so when you will make that list when you will write down ki okay fine let, let's say these 10 chapters are my strong chapters so not so strong chapters in not so strong chapters just decide ki which chapter is very 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 important which chapter is very 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 scoring right put a star mark put a star mark this thing will take maximum your 15 to 20 minutes okay so when you want to take a break do this okay now see obviously we are preparing for the neat examination right now uh, right we have to study for 12 to 14 hours if you will sit for 14 hours then at least your 12 hours should be the productive one and now right now you have that adrenaline rush in your body then obviously your sitting hours are definitely more at this point of time if you will compare it right with the uh, march uh, sorry with november month or with september month obviously they are better right they are better now you have to give six hours to biology they go physics is important chemistry is important biology is important but biology is very scoring at this point of time if you will leave biology if you will focus on physics and chemistry only maybe you will good very good there in physics and chemistry but biology need revision right you cannot ignore that so you have to take all the three subjects together you cannot right now you cannot just focus on one subject even if other subjects are stronger one still still you have to take all the three chapters you can see you can uh, you can do one thing that seven hours for the physics three hours for the chemistry if it is good then you have to give four to five hours for the biology again because the syllabus is vast right and we have to we have to retain it it's a memory based subject not everything is conce conceptual you have to you have to mug up some facts also so you need that much of time so out of these six hours four hours for the block one hour is for the revision of previous block and one hour is for the pyq practice now ma'am what is this word block what are you talking right what's that what's that let me tell you i divided your 32 chapters in six blocks each block is having five chapters okay now you must be thinking ki ma'am we have total 32 chapters are one chapter is your living world you can put that chapter in any block for me another chapter is microbes and human welfare maybe for you it is biological classification maybe for you for you it is biotech it can be anything it can be anything so you have to make five blocks and in first two blocks you have to write down your most if uh, you, you you have to write down your strong chapters in first two blocks what you have to do you have to mention the chapter number chapter names of your strong you have to mention your strong chapters if they are 10 if they are 12 mention it there let's say i'll include living word here or i'll include any uh, biological classification or microbes or whatever chapter is missing here i'll write it here okay okay this is what you have to do so first two blocks first two blocks you can even write down you can even write down first two blocks will include your strong chapters why because it will take very less time for revision now you are revising you are not supposed to give three to four hours to each chapter you have to be quick now you have to be fast now you have to revise from your mistakes now right while reading the ncrt wherever you are making the mistake you need to highlight that point so you have to mention your right strong chapters in that blocks so one day one day each yes ma'am how is it possible to complete five chapters of biology in a day how is it possible it is possible 
the way I told you, right? Go for the summary, if go for the diagram, go for your notes, you will revise it, right? If I talk about cell cycle and cell division, even I have a posted a video where in 16 minutes I have covered all the important points. Maybe you will take 30 minutes, okay? Maybe you will take 30 minutes, let's say 30 minutes here, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes here, 30 minutes here. Still, still guys, you'll be able to complete it in because this is the part of your strongest portion. So you can complete them in three hours or maybe in four hours or maybe someday you will take five hours also it depends but for first two days just for first two days for first two blocks please include your strong chapters only and for three to for four hours study them right and 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 because you have just started it so you can also give five five hours for their revision then one hour because i'm just assuming you are giving six hours and you have to give six hours it is the minimum that i'm expecting from you guys right so in that one hour in that one hour you have to practice the questions from this okay you have to practice the pyqs and with the timer and you have to fill up the omr sheet so one day five chapters next day five chapters now here when you are starting your second block let's say you completed it in five hours okay and for one hour you can just revise this this portion yes you can revise this portion you will do it very quickly you just need to read the most important statements most important highlighted points that's all that's all literally now we have to increase our speed now let's move to the next part now let's say in the third block right our first two blocks they include strong chapters in third block you have mentioned not so strong chapters but they are the important one so i have given two days for five chapters and now it's the right time we can give two days for that five chapter so if you think there is a chapter which you really need to revise then you can prefer if you are doing it second or third time then you can prefer one shot otherwise i'll say i'll say read it from ncrt or if you if you can give time then go for four to five hours ka one shot otherwise no need read it from ncrt start solving the pyqs so this is your third block okay so here i divided chapters in a very interesting way this is cell cycle human reproduction sexual reproduction and flowering plants reproductive health chemical control and coordination these are somewhere related chemical control and coordination that pituitary part helpful in human reproduction helpful in reproductive health that cell division is helpful in human reproduction right reproductive health the sexual reproduction so that is how i made it okay now organic Organism and population, ecosystem, cell, somewhere related, right? For a change, I added the cell. Biodiversity, microbes and human welfare, very short chapter. You will hardly take, even if you are doing it for the second time, you will hardly take one and half hour to complete it. Then respiration, plant kingdom, animal kingdom, biological classification, locomotion and movement. This is how I divide it. Okay, some chapters tough, tough, some easy. You can also change it. Maybe you want to revise the bio, uh, the diversity part later. It's your wish, right? This is as for my strategy. So when you will give two days for this, okay, again, the time is fixed four hours then here on first day one hour you can give to this particular block and another one hour you can give to this particular block so obviously you will revise them twice or thrice here only twice or thrice here only now let's move to the next block like biomolecules molecular bases inheritance biotech both the chapters because they are also they are also interrelated so i have given two days for five chapters so two days for five chapter is more than sufficient more than sufficient because because even if it is not so strong still it is sufficient because you know how you need to revise then again give 30 minutes or one one hour every day because you have two days one one hour for the revision of the previous block that's what we have to do okay okay let's say out of these three blocks you are like yeah, i need to revise this block more so obviously prioritize this then go for this one then go for this one now move to this part two days again now see again five chapters so one day you can revise this block the another day you can revise this block so mainly you will revise these 10 chapters two to three times this is how you have to proceed this is how you have to proceed and then go for the next block and trust me trust me right you have to give if you will follow it strictly you just need to give 10 days for the revision of these 32 chapters living word very easy microbes part very easy or in some other chapters also there are portions which are very easy right bache and yes that time is sufficient here and let me tell you I'll, I'll tell you how can you revise lengthy chapters in 30 minutes also let's say molecular basis of inheritance is strongest chapter for me so what will i do i'll open up i'll check dna i'll check the data nucleotide base pairs i'll check enzymes i'll be like okay that's how these enzymes are uh, working 
this is the te uh, template, this is the polarity. Done. Right? I'll solve majority of questions. When I'll solve PYQs, I'll see what kind of questions are there. I'll revise them. So in that way, you can revise your chapters in less than 30 minutes and you can follow these blocks. Now, right, for remaining 20 days, or 10 days. So see, I have given 10 days with these blocks. Maybe for some chapters, you need more time. So you can make 10 to 12. You can make it 15 as well, but still I will suggest you people not to do that. Why? Because if you will follow it strictly, it will help you because for next 10 days, you can reverse the order again, you will revise it. So yes, you will complete your NCRT minimum three to four times for each chapter. For each chapter, that's what you have to do, students. And trust me, trust me, start making your blog, start revising it like this, right? And the chapters which are very, very, very important, start prioritizing them more, okay? So please follow such things, right? They are, they will keep you, right? They will keep your mind in one direction only and that will be helpful for you. Now, if you are thinking, what about mock test, ma'am? Obviously, if you, on Sunday, you are going to give your mock test for three hours, still you have time still you have time that day you can just devote three hours for the biology revision or four hours for the biology revision that's purely up to you so start following it but do not waste your time do not miss the question practice and even if you think you know ma'am no ma'am we can follow the blocks but we need to go through the entire syllabus so you know that you have you have the biology marathons right you have to give five days class 12 zoology marathon one day class 11 zoology marathon one day it is having two parts right one part is there on monday so obviously three classes here two classes for botany so in five days five days right in detail because these in these marathons i am not just you know giving you the overview i'm actually teaching you you can check it as well right you can check it on our channel that is your unacademy neat english you can see our channel right you can see these marathons so here you can see your complete class zoology class 12th marathon you can see your complete class 11th zoology marathon and one more is there on monday and you will get the further schedule as well okay so for five days if you will follow that class for 15 days you can follow that six blocks still you can manage your time right so for each block if you will give 12 days still you have three days for revision so it is beneficial for both type of students okay so now what you have to do you have to do only one thing and that is you have to gear up you have to get up and now you have to crack it students isn't it and now I'm going to tell you something very amazing that is your yes students so I hope, yeah. So now I'm going to tell you about something very, um, something very amazing, and that is your Aram, right? It is the biggest surprise of the EdTech because now you are getting our plus subscription, right? Of course, till 14th of April, right? For rupees four triple nine only. Later on, the prices they will again rise, right? They can go above thirty thousand. They can go above forty thousand, right? So you have right less than uh, no, now. So you do not even have forty-eight hours. So you have to avail this offer now. So in the description box there is a link. We have the batches for the students uh, that are moving from tenth to eleventh this is your amazing team the content is amazing everything is amazing right you will get quality content you will get PDFs you will get proper lectures you will get doubt sessions you will get study material right and you will get all these batches in English because we know our students they are from South India right they crave for such bas batches that are dedicatedly for them so yes we have started it for you we have started it for you and the way we are teaching you people you can see our energy our enthusiasm on YouTube so imagine imagine our same energy when when you will join us personally when you will learn under our mentorship how are we going to guide you so when it comes to the quality content there is no match of this team when it comes to the dedication there is no match of this team because we are not stupid enough who are taking 12 12 13 13 hours marathon just to provide you the full content so definitely in our batches you will see that amazing thing so suggest this to your uh, juniors as well for class 12 Nexus batches there again the same team having you know 600 plus lectures having 20 plus tests right doubt solving sessions are there and for droppers also the batch it will start on 17th of April so in the description box there is a link and students do follow this strategy and trust me your marks will increase mark my words okay so stay tuned take care bye bye thank you so much everyone